In this video I want to show you 4 different variants how you can implement toggling of your sidebar with just plain CSS, HTML and JavaScript. So this is what I prepared for us here, as you can see we have our sidebar without any styles, this is just a cross button and then for links. We also have our main here with test sidebar text and the text click on element below to show hide navigation menu. And this is our toggle to open our sidebar later. And this is how our HTML is looking like. First of all here we have just a div with span inside, close sidebar button and here is our cross and we have four href links. And here is our main part of the application, just h2, p and here is open toggle. So here we have class toggle that we will need for later and here is our icon and open word. So first of all let's style our page a little bit. Here I have style CSS file and just resets here. So first of all I want to write some styles for our sidebar. Our sidebar is always on the left, which actually means it makes a lot of sense to make it position fixed. It should also take the full height, this is why here height 100%. Now we want to provide here a nice background, this is why background 111, so it will be really dark. We want some padding on the top, let's say 60 pixels. And we also want to write here top 0 and left 0. And also we want to position it with Z index 1. In this case our sidebar will be always higher than the content. And also for the nice smooth animation we must add here transition, half of a second. Let's check how it looks like. This is our sidebar, it is already there, but our icons are not positioned correctly. So first of all let's write styles for our links. So here sidebar A, and we want here another font size, so let's say 25 pixels, then some padding, 8 pixels, 8 pixels, 8 pixels, and 32 pixels between each of them, then text decoration none, because these are our links, now we want to change their color, let's say 81, 81, 81, we also need here display block, so every single element takes its line and also some transition, for example 0.3 seconds. Let's check how it looks like. I'm reloading the page and here are our links. It is looking fine, but we can also add some hover. So here we can write sidebar A, hover, and let's use here another color, F1, F1, F1. Let's check this. Here we have a nice hover with animation. Now here just for testing I want to set width inside our sidebar. Why it is just for testing? Because by default our sidebar should not be visible. We need to set the width of our sidebar to 0, but just for testing, to finish our styling we will write here width 250. Let's reload the page, this is how our sidebar will look like. Now we simply need to style our cross button. So here let's write that we have a sidebar and a close sidebar button inside. And it will be positioned absolute with top 0, right 25 pixels, and we also need bigger font size 36 pixels. Here we also need margin left, it is 50 pixels, and another color. Let's write here 81, 81, 81, and also cursor pointer. Let's check if it's working. I'm reloading the page, and here is our cross, and we can click it. So our sidebar is fully styled, now I want to set the width of this sidebar to 0. Let's check if it helps. I'm reloading the page and we don't see our sidebar at all, but we see our links. To avoid this we must write here overflow x hidden. Now I'm reloading the page and all our content is also gone. So now the question is how we will toggle our sidebar, and actually we can do it in different ways. First of all we can directly change styles on our sidebar element with JavaScript, but it is not the best approach. What I really like is to put all my styles inside CSS, so all our styles are predefined and we simply add or remove class. This is why here after our sidebar I want to create styles for our open sidebar. This is why here I will write sidebar dot is opened, so it should have is opened class, then here what we want to set is just width 250 pixels. Let's reload the page and now set here not only sidebar, but also is opened. And this is exactly our approach, we want just to toggle this is opened class, and now this sidebar is coming here. This is why I want to jump inside main.js and first of all find our DOM elements. And first of all here I want to find our toggle, and here I will start every single property with dollar. 
Just like we did inside jQuery, so we know that this is exactly the DOM element. So here we can write document query selector and we are finding it by class toggle. Now I will copy paste it four times because we need here four different elements. First of all, we need here sidebar and it is dot sidebar. Here we might also need main, but I am not sure about it. And the last one will be our close button. So let's name it dollar close sidebar button. And here is our class close sidebar button. So now we are fully ready to attach a listener to our toggle. This is why here dollar toggle dot add event listener and we are listening here for click event. So what we want to do, we want simply to attach a class or essentially toggle it on our sidebar. This is why here dollar sidebar dot class list dot toggle and inside we are providing our class is opened that we just created. Let's check this out. I am reloading the page. We don't see our sidebar. Now I am hitting open and we see our sidebar. But we can't really close it because this cross doesn't work. This is why here on the bottom we can use this close sidebar button and detach also here a listener click and close our sidebar. And to implement closing we are doing exactly the same. Here is sidebar class list dot remove and we are removing classes opened. Let's check this out. I am reloading the page, hitting open, hitting cross and this sidebar is gone. And this is essentially the first variant of our sidebar where we simply toggle it and it overlaps on our content because we have here position fixed and it is written with it index 1. The second use case that you will have really often, we must move our content because it doesn't make a lot of sense to see just part of the content. And actually we could do it in different ways, for example here we can simply add margin left directly to our main element. But this is wrong approach. I really recommend you to work with styles. This is why I want to jump back inside styles and here we want to style our main content just when we have is opened class. And we can write it like this, so we have here sidebar is opened plus and here we have dot main. Which essentially means we are styling the sibling and our sibling of sidebar is main. This is why here we can write some styles. For example, it is enough to write just margin left to 150 pixels. And here I want to write a comment that this is just to move main. Let's check this out. I am reloading the page. I am hitting here open. And now our content is also moving. But as you can see it is not really moving smoothly but just jumping and this is not fun. This is why here after margin left we can write also transition. For example margin left 0.5 second. Let's check this out. I am reloading the page. We are hitting open. And now main is moving smoothly together with our sidebar. And this was the second variant how we can move our main content when we are opening sidebar. One more variant that you might want to implement is blur a little bit your main, which essentially means you want to cover it in a black background. And it is really easy to do this, because essentially we simply want to style our main. And here I want to write hide main, so you know what class we are writing this for. And here we can simply use background and set here RGBA to make it with opacity. So here we are taking black, this is why it is 000, and then 0 for opacity. Let's reload the page and hit here open. And as you can see our main is now black. But the main problem is here that it doesn't take full height. This is why it doesn't look good. This is why what we can do here we can style our main. We didn't style it at all. So by default we can say here height. 100 vertical height. And here also padding. For example 25 pixels so it is looking better. I'm reloading the page, here we have nice padding and now it is full height, we're hitting here open and we see just our sidebar and our whole content is covered with black color. And the last variant that you might want to implement is hide main part completely. And this is really easy to achieve. Here in our sidebar is opened, we can simply set a width to 100%. So here hide main fully. And I will comment it out and simply write here width 100%. I am reloading the page, here I am hitting open. And now we don't see our content at all because our sidebar is full width. But essentially here it doesn't make a lot of sense to see all our links on the left. We can then center them. This is why here we can simply write text align center. 
Let's reload the page and now all our links are centered and we can work with the menu. Now we are hitting here cross and we see our main content again. And also, if you are interested to know how JavaScript sorting is working and what problems you might have there, make sure to check this video also.